Hi everyone, this is Yvette here. I have a mini album for you. Um, actually, I have two of them. It is the portrait and landscape version of Kathy King's um, Paper Phenomenon, Kathy King, and it's the perf the Picture Perfect Landscape, which is this one, and the portrait mini album set is this one. So the paper collections that I used were Cartabella, and it is Rockabye Baby, uh, the boy version and the girl version. These are new paper collections. They are super cute, and I loved working with them. Um, again, these are um, the Perfect Pick Landscape and Portrait Mini Album, and they are part of EK17, the November... Um, the November bonus project. So if you have that kit, you have it already. If not, I will link in the description below the, where you can purchase the tutorial. I always buy the tutorial and video combo just in case I struggle with the instructions. Then I can go and watch the videos to help me make my albums. So these two albums are going to be a class that I'm going to teach again at the Scrapbook Cottage. If there's enough interest, we'll do it in Steinbach and in Winnipeg. And of course, I'm in Canada, Manitoba, so um, hopefully you can come to the classes. Um, I always enjoy having uh, seeing you guys all there, and some of the ladies have taken my classes since I, be I started teaching there, so it's been a lot of fun. And these two mini albums are super cute, a lot of fun, easy to make, and you will enjoy them. Um, this one here is um, eight and a quarter by six, and the spine is two inches, and it's pretty big. Um, but the finished gussets and stuff, it's probably uh, two and a quarter, and I would probably increase the spine just a little bit, just to so it's not as full as this. Um, the this is the cover. This is a 4x6 cutout uh, from the paper collection. It came with six 4x6 cutouts, and I used all six of them in this book. There is the checkered um, paper is what I used on the spine, and then there's the back. And I am using a new camera, so if you guys can give me some feedback on the camera, um, if it sounds okay, if, it's, if you guys can see it properly, give me some feedback. Um, I was I always did it with my iPhone and then just uploaded it to YouTube here I don't even know if I can upload it to YouTube because it's like gonna be off my computer which I've never used or done before so it'll be a challenge for me after I get this taped this is like my fourth or fifth try taping this I always go over the time limits so hopefully I will get it done properly and I'll be able to link the video and tutorial combo class for you from Kathy Orta and if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Give me some feedback in the comments, and I will take you through this mini album as quickly as I can. There you go. So the first page is um, a pocket, and this is a spellbinder. And this is a piece of acetate, or you can use a page protector is what I sometimes use. So the spellbinders that we used were... Um, Labels number two, Spellbinders Nestabilities, and it is S4-162 is the name of it. So, um, and I used the large one. So that is the die that I used for this. And so we have a flip here, and this is all in the construction of the cover. Um, there's three photo mats here. These uh, photo mats measure four and a quarter by four and a quarter and the white mat is four by four and then this is the negative space of that so that goes in there as an extra photo mat and then the the paper collection also comes with a sheet of um, three by fours and there's 12 of them in the collection and I I used all 12 of them in this mini album and on the on this side maybe I'm just gonna zoom out just a little bit so you can see the whole mini and I have a paper clip closure here and again this is the construction of the cover and then there's a flip large photo mat like at least uh, you could probably put at least a five by seven here like it measures four and three quarters by seven and an eight so like a five by seven you might have to trim it just a little bit 
Again, photo mats, journaling card from the paper collection. And then you flip it. Here, I you could put a f like photos. You can put two photos or whatever you want, but you can definitely you definitely have room for photos there. And here she has like it's like a belly band, but it is the the construction of the page, which is super cute, and I love it. These are four by sixes. Is the white and the black is four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and they fit in there perfect. They, they're a little bit tight, but I think you want that so that they don't fall out. And if they do fall out, then just put a paper clip and hold the pictures in there. Again, your photo mats, like it says place photo here. When you build your book or you match your book, you're not going to put these unless you want the white borders. But you're not going to put these in because you're going to put the photo there. So um, that's just to show you where your photos are going to be. So anyways, this was part of the paper collection, and I thought it looked cute there. So... Pocket page on this side with a four by six mat. Again, four and a quarter by six and a quarter is your measurement for your black. And then my mats are all a quarter of an inch smaller. So it gives you a nice border, um, wiggle room if you put them on crooked. Here's a four by six sterling card and a three by four and then a four by four. Kathy does have about, I think about 13 videos or so on YouTube right now. Matt, it's called Photo Matting 101. And she does mat this one and the portrait version. So you can watch her videos to help you mat yours. Um, just keep mine. I kept it simple because the, to keep the cost of the class down, I usually mat with minimal amount of paper and... Um, yeah, just to keep the cost of the class down. So again, these fit here and here. So and again, like they're they're snug in there. I don't think they're gonna come out. And if if they do, then just put a little paper clip and it'll hold the photos in there. So here we have another four by six, another four by six here, and again, room for journaling spots. And more photos. Another pocket page on this side. Three by four or four by sixes, four by sixes. And these are three by fours. So yeah, it's a nice little spread out. Nice little visual kind of flows. It's nice, simple. Again, I probably matted mine a lot simpler than what Kathy did because I again like I like matting simple. And uh, just let the pictures, let the pictures be your embellishments. Um, again, and I mean, you can get the ephemera packs and stuff that go with this, and you can deck it out even more. But anyways, this is a five by five and three quarters by four and a quarter. So these are leftovers when you cut your large mats. So I just wanted to use them. So. So you will have to trim your photo down a little bit, but not too much. And then we have another 4 by 6 sterling card. And again, this is the last page. There's only three pages in this mini album. But if you count all the spots where it says photo here, place photo here, and including two mats in each of these belly bands, you will have room for 77 photos in this mini album. So that's a fairly nice mini album. Nice gift. And then another 4 by 6 And then we have... And here I want to show you, you could do some 3 by 3s And then this is the back of the last page. Love the 3 by 4 journaling cards. And here's another photo mat with the 3 by 3s 4 by 6 this is the, another card from the 4x6, another paper clip closure here, another large photo here, and then you have the photo mats. This is another 3x4 journaling card. And then you have the page at the back. Here I did some check paper, so you can definitely put more paper there, or more pictures on there if you want. This is an acetate pocket. You can put some more photo mats in there and again I did the same as I did with the negative spot and then we have the photo mats 
And that is my mini album. And again, if you want to join us in class, call the Scrapbook Cottage in Winnipeg and Steinbach, book a spot, and um, the dates will get posted as soon as we know when we're going to run this class. So have fun, enjoy, and please give me some feedback on my new camera and my system, and hopefully everything works for you guys to listen and watch. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.